How's it going? Okay, today I'm going to talk about what makes good soil. Uh, soil. I'm going to start off by reading a part of the introduction from The Secrets of the Soil, New Solutions for Restoring Our Planet by Peter Tompkins and Christopher Bird. Just a little part of the uh, introduction. And here we go. Today's soils are tired, overworked, depleted, sick, poisoned by synthetic chemicals, hence the quality of food has suffered, and so is health. Malnutrition begins with soil. Human health depends on wholesome foods, and this can only come from fertile and productive soils. Minerals in the soil control metabolism of cells and plants, animals, and man. Diseases are created chiefly by destroying the harmony among mineral substances present in amounts of air, water, food, and most importantly, soil. If soil is deficient in trace elements, food and water will be equally deficient. What I have here in my hand is some compost from my backyard, and I'm gonna show it to you. Here is some compost from my backyard. It's made up of broken down organic matter, minerals, microorganisms. A handful of soil is just as alive as you and me. In my hand, there's probably billions, with a B, billions of microorganisms that make living soil. Soil is a living organism. What I have here in my hand is a rock. I don't know what kind of rock it is, but this is what the microorganisms eat, is rocks, minerals. Um, and they break down those minerals and they turn them to other minerals which make them readily available for plants and then those plants are readily available for animals and then those animals are readily available for other animals and it, you know it just goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on um, you know what a rock is it's minerals we are made up of minerals our bones teeth everything you see outside comes from minerals and that's why I add things like rock dust minerals. Um, here I have uh, Gaia Green Glacial Rock Dust. It contains calcium, magnesium, cobalt, iron, magnesium, sodium, and other minerals. And this is derived from glacial rock dust. So it all starts off with the microorganisms and minerals, which are broken down and made available for other things in the soil. Um, here we go with the um again. If you look in nature, nature reuses all of its minerals. This is the Rodale Guide to Composting, and I'm going to read something about leaves. Since most trees are deep rooted, they absorb minerals from deep in the soil. A good portion of these minerals go to leaves. Pound for pound, the leaves of most trees contain twice as many minerals as does manure. For example, the mineral content of a sugar maple leaf is 5% while even pine needles have 2.5% of their weight in calcium, magnesium, nitrogen, phosphorus, plus other trace elements. The top layer of soil, the humus layer of soil, which actually most life on Earth depends on, is getting a heavy doses of minerals, which actually keep feeding these, these microbes and, and makes way for new life, like fungus and insects and animals and all the things that depend solely on the soil. All life on Earth starts with the soil. In my backyard, I'm doing the same thing, I'm breaking down all these things and making compost, which I'm constantly adding to my plants to keep them happy, is the soil. The soil is key to everything. If you want strong plants and healthy plants, you need healthy soil. Because if the food is healthy, it's gonna make you healthy. So everything comes down to soil. So there's an infinite amount of things to know about soil, and I'm sure there's an infinite amount of things to discover about soil. Um, I'm gonna make a few more videos about soil, and uh, talk about soil until I'm done talking about soil. 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 soil.